Gourmet Pens Picks, which is paper for fountain pens. This is one of my other favorite notebooks. This is the Life Pistachio Notebook. And this is the cute little um, B6. And we're gonna play with it for a little bit. And I'm gonna show you what I like and why I like it. And honestly, this is kind of just an excuse for me to literally make an inky mess, but justify it by saying, look, there's no feathering, there's no bleed through. And that's what we're gonna do. So here we go with the Life Pistachio Notebooks. These are purchased with my own pennies because I really like them and I have a tiny, tiny little stash of them, like two left, which is very reasonable when it comes to notebooks. So we're gonna do that and you can find descriptions of all the stuff that I'm using in the description thingy below. And um, oh, my hair got in my nose, now it's really itchy. So let's, let's go, let's go, let's make it happen. Yes, so we're gonna take a look at the Life Pistachio Notebook. So um, just so you know, they range from like $3.50 to $4. They're US. They're not super expensive. I mean, it's not a whole lot of paper. So, um, you know, $4 might not be inexpensive per sheet. That's okay with me. I don't use these for all of my journaling and note taking. They're just an option that I enjoy. Now this is one that I've already filled and you might have seen this already in the uh, notebook video that I used up in the last couple of years. Um, so here's just an example of stuff that I do with it. I test pens, I test ink, I see what they look like in different nibs and different settings. I try out different um, like script types and handwriting styles. So this is what I do with these smaller notebooks and I really like this, the size because it's very portable. Um, it's very slim, easy to kind of tote around with me. Um, I have a lot of fun. They're very fountain pen friendly. So I'm a big fan of them. And if you're not someone who likes the Tomoe River, like the very crinkly thin paper, this might be something you prefer. So let's just have a little bit of fun with them and see how it actually, I mean, I know how it performs, but like then you can see it happening. So very slim, they're very well made, very robust and hardy. I've put all my notebooks through like quite a beating and they take it really well. So because they're sewn bindings, you know, you could just like crack her open and there you go, good to go, good to go. So I have an assortment of pens. I'm gonna write on the sideways because um, it's a little easier for me. So let's just start, I know this is a bit blaspheme. I'm trying to get my light to stay on, but it's not charged enough. Anyway, um, I'm pulling my sleeve down so that I don't oil up the page. It's smooth paper, not super slick like a coated Rhodia R. Um, it doesn't really have any texture. It's not super, super bright white. It's just a nice white with soft green lines. I love the lines like meadowy color uh, or pistachio, hence pistachio. There are other ones that are like brown and stuff, uh, like brown lines and such, but um, I like the pistachio. So we are, it is Wednesday, March 10th. I have never used a ballpoint in this notebook. It works fine, it's a ballpoint. I don't like it, we're not gonna do that anymore. Let's try my gel pen. We are doing not surprisingly, the gel pen does perfectly fine. This is Gourmet Pens Picks. Paper for fountain pens. Paper for fountain pens. She can't talk. So, uh, just so that we have done it, ballpoint's fine, gel pen fine. I have Le Penso here. Ah, uh, yes, Le Blackwing. Um, okay, so let's do Very nice with pencil. Paper. Flat. Fent pen. My pants. Okay. Great. Awesome. Works. Um, 
actually it works really nice with the pencil. Fun for, I think, hand lettering, full calligraphy, that kind of stuff. So let me just do this. This is actually not really hand lettering. This is full calligraphy, really. Um, sorry, the tripod got in the way there. Anyway, I'm not really expecting to use this, like pencils, very much in the future in these notebooks. I prefer toothier paper for my pencils. But should you like pencils and like the look of the notebook, it will be just fine for you. Now let's do some fountain pens. I have a couple here. First up, should I do, you know what, I'm going to do this. I wouldn't do this normally, but just because I know I'm going to do a mess with the fountain pens, um, let's do this. So, oh, that is not, I forgot I had this inked with this ink. Hang on, let me get a different fountain pen because you're not going to be able to see that very well. Um, okay, so we have the... Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've already done a video on this pen. I really, really like this pen. This is like my third time inking this with this. Unfortunately, it's the same ink, but whatever. Uh, I mean, unfortunately for you, if you've already seen the videos and you're like, oh, Ziza, that's the same ink. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's uh, Pilot Iroshizuku Sukiyo. And I thought it just matched the body very nicely. So that is a Brad Steel nib. Let's keep going. And then we're going to look at how this lovely paper handles the fountain pens. Um, next up, we have this is. Oh, this is awful calligraphy. I'm sorry. Um, I'm kind of looking at this at an angle, also trying to make sure I spell this properly, which is the biggest challenge when writing and um, uh, trying to do calligraphy at the same time. <sighs> okay, so anyway, whatever. Um, you can just suffer along with me with the inconsistent, poorly formed calligraphy that I'm doing. I'm fine with it. So this is the Franklin Kristoff. This is a model 03. The nib is a very sweet music nib. Um, so let's just do that for music nib. Uh, that was an awful note, I'm sorry. The ink is Sailor. Manyo Uki Kasa, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's just do a couple more. I have my inky little friend here. This is the Nim Nim with the Food a nib, and this ink is Sailor Manio Akebi. Okay, very lovely. Wow, that's an awful looking heart. So, what we can see, very fountain pen friendly. Um, no feathering. Come on, light, you can do it. No, it can't. No feather. 
No feathering, no bleed through, um, very little show through. Oh my God, come on, Mr. Light, what's wrong with you? I might need to get a new light soon, peeps. Yeah, it's just not doing it. Let me see if I unplug this, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, let's do a flex nib. I have it, this one's a bit run dry, so I need to get it going a bit. Give me a second, there we go. <laughs> get enough! Um, this is my Pilot FA nib. It's an A conid. I'm not gonna write all that because we can't get conids right now anyway. Um, the ink is Mont Blanc Single Malt Whiskey. So I'm just going to put Whiskey for you. Oh, do you spell your whiskey with an E or no? Anyway, the point of the whole thing is that I just wanted an excuse to use this notebook and use my pens and do things. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry, then we're gonna come back and look at it, and then we're gonna play with like watercolors and other stuff. Okay, it has dried. I also took a quick bathroom break. Oh my gosh, it hasn't dried. It looked dry with all my light on. Anyway, you can see that it does quite well. Still no feathering and no bleed through. Very little show through. It's actually, very, very good paper. Now we're gonna turn that, and now we're gonna do what I enjoy doing, which is, oh yeah, making a mess. So, I'm gonna see, I've actually never used this ink on here. So this is a uh, liquid acrylic. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I did not shake that well enough. Oh well, this is life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, look at my artism. Such the art. Let's take. I have my Zenso watercolors. Ah! Oh, I made a mess of them. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Just my fault. It's because I put them in my little watercolor kit and I have no idea what I'm doing. And this is what happens when you have no idea what you're doing. Okay. I don't even know which one I want to use. They're all so pretty. Let's do this one. Put some water on there like she knows what she's doing. Totally do. And let's write. Okay, I probably need to get more pigment. There we go. But it's actually very nice. It's a Wednesday. I want to show you that I like this notebook. And so this is how I'm doing it. By having no idea what I'm doing. What if I do this? Oh, that would have looked cool if it wasn't poorly drawn, I guess. Um, let's write a word. Let's write... I'm gonna squeeze some water out. Um, somebody asked me why I don't use it like that. And I um, I have been recently, because I felt kind of weird that I was dipping it, but I usually don't because my hand issue, I can't grip as well as I used to. So it's hard for me to squeeze the water brush. Pretty, oh, that is really pretty. Okay, let's leave that for a second. Let's do, um, I wanted to do,
Just some messing around. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but well, that's what happens. I don't even know what ink this is. Um, in the barrel, I believe it was Peve Ackerman, Deep Down Water Blau, but it's hard to say. Yeah, that looks like it. And that seems familiar. Like, that seems like what I remember doing. Inky messes. Yeah, Inky messes. And then let's take my friendly neighborhood water brush and I'm gonna dip it in some Blackstone Barrister Blue, which is actually waterproof and a stunning color. Actually, I don't even need to dip it. I can get it off the threads. Um, I got this bottle at um, one of the pen shows. Which one? Philly. Uh, at the Lemur Ink Table when I was ogling their Lemur Lime. And I would never have picked this if he didn't suggest it to me. And it turns out that I love the color. It's stunning. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now, this is what it looks like coming out of the pen, like a fountain pen. So it's amazing. Pretty, pretty cool. Inky messes. That's what gourmet pens does. She makes the mess. She don't clean it up. It's not her problem when it's done. Okay, I don't know what this is. Like a peacock eyeball or something. Anyway, um, let's just disperse this blue a little. So this is not about me being art. I mean, this is not about me arting. This is just me showing you that I really like this paper and doing stuff with it. Look at that. Oh, I mean, it doesn't look good, but it's fun. So, oh my god, look at the, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, ready? Um, let me move the finger, my jigger. Okay. Ready? Oh yeah. It's like shimmer for me. Shimmer. Yeah, do it. Do it. Okay, so I just ruined that. Anyway, let's let that dry. I'll be right back. Yeah, so while that dries, let me tell you my story. <laughs> my story is basically this. I um, I somehow got ink all over my computer, which is right over there. So I had to clean that up. Um, so yeah, that's drying after the mess that I created. So let me just show you one of the things that I often like to do. You've already seen me do this, but... Um, that's not nearly enough water. There we go. Uh, obviously I didn't clean my water brush enough. And then we're gonna do this. Oh, that's, oh, so this is probably how I got stuff all over my computer. Um, oh well. And then I'm gonna write, what should I write? Um, I'm going to write, <sighs> you know what? I'm going to write in completely inappropriate non-matching color to their actual color theme. Um, okay, this looks more like patriotic than the green that they actually are. But I'm writing congratulations. Well, no, wait, I haven't written congratulations yet. Congrats. Gefeliciteerd, I believe, in Dutch. Uh, to Applebaum because they are opening a second store in Boston, which is unreal. So once all this madness settles down and we're all alive and surviving and vaccinated or whatever you choose to do, um, I would really like to go out there and visit. So, so cool. So, Applebaum, Boston. Very, very cool. 
So like, this is one of the things I like to do. And you could do this on a notebook or you could even do this um, like on the, this is a lined one. So I would recommend, you know, maybe like not on the lines because I've done it sideways, but you can, you know, like you don't have to do it on a blank sheet or a grid. So let's do this. Let's just do that, do some of this, do a bit of that. And so what I have found is this paper warps a little bit, but because it's not super thin, it's not that bad. So if you're someone who likes to art journal or do what I'm doing, but in a classier manner, you absolutely could in your life pistachio notebook. And this is not completely dry, but I'm going to bring it over anyway. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So you can see... <laughs> no bleed through pretty awesome and very minimal show through so I'm quite pleased with that okay you've probably had enough of the gourmet pens madness so let's let's thank you thank you I hope this was fun for you if you're Inclined. Sorry, that if was probably a pop in. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, if you're so inclined and you feel like supporting the Gourmet Pens project, which is me, um, I would love it if you would check me out on Patreon. Or, you know, you don't have to, but if you want to, that'd be really cool. And keep the dream alive. My dream, and probably yours sometimes when I do weird things. Like, show you how much fun you can have with your notebook. That's all, everyone. That's it, folks. That's it for today. I hope this was useful, and I hope you had some fun. This is, just so you know, this is Peve Ackerman Gourmet Pens Pink. Links to find yours down below. Oh, I spelled Gourmet Pens Pink because she can't spell. So there you go. Take care, everyone. Enjoy. Keep it inky. Stay fresh and inky, and I'll see you next time. Bye! The worst part is people think that that is a shot, like a screen grab, but no, it's actually a video. <laughs> I do that in video.